Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in 100s. In this tutorial we will cover numbers up to 1000. We're going to start with our first example. Counting in hundreds is very very simple. So we've got the number 300 and what comes after 300 if we are counting in hundreds. Well, that's simple. The 3 goes up by 1, the units and the tens don't change. Here's the units and the tens. We're simply just going to change the hundreds. Therefore, the answer is 400. So 300 after that, if we are counting in hundreds, becomes 400. And that's all there is to it. We're going to work on one more example. Now in this scenario we've got two numbers 500 and 700 and on either side we've got three blanks. We have to fill those in. We are counting in hundreds. So what number comes after 500? The 5 is you add 1 to the 5, so it becomes 600. It's that simple. So the next one, we've got 700, goes to add 1 to the 7, that becomes 800. The units and the tens don't change. And as for 800, again, add 1 to the 8, that becomes 900. And that's it. There really isn't much more to this. Counting in hundreds up to 1,000.